I'm gonna mount this at my desk. <laughs> but everybody knows that I'm a swordsman. All right, I learned on the last episode of the vlog that Ellie is highly deficient in many key areas for protecting me, her boss, in the event of an apocalypse. And we determined that one of the things we had to shore up as quickly as possible was her weapon smithing skills because in the apocalypse, you really don't know what you're gonna have just laying around. You can't rely on that. We have to have the ability to craft our own weapons. And by we, I mean her. I'm Bernie. I'm Greg. Hey, very nice to meet you. Nice meeting you. So we're gonna cast some swords tonight. We are gonna cast some swords. We will never be caught swordless ever again after this. We'll have no excuses at least. It was too short notice to find an actual like blacksmith, but I found a remote sword casting guy. With an actual blacksmith? Yeah, I'm actually a, a casting guy, so it's more about it's foundry work, but super cool. And that's what I said. So you'll be casting. Yeah. yeah. It's really heavy. This is it. This is going to become my sword. So this is the forge, is that correct? Um, it's actually a foundry. I called foundry. it a forge for a long time, but to be technical, it's, it's called a foundry. And really the difference between a foundry and a forge is um, a forge is horizontal, so you like put a, a sword or whatever inside it and just kind of lay it in there to get heated in one spot. And a foundry is uh, oriented vertically so that because you're melting something to a liquid. How hot will it get? Um, Barrage melts at about 2,000 degrees. Wow. Okay. So it gets crazy hot. What does pavement uh, melt at? Um, we'll find out. Uh, we'll find out. <laughs> yep. We'll find out. Yeah. So the, the flame just goes in. Uh, through the bottom here and it kind of swirls around it and then I'm gonna be putting the bronze in a crucible and melting it in a crucible. Some of you figured out when you watched the vlog last week but the list of skills that I asked Ellie if she had was actually just a list of the upgradable skills from the game Seven Days to Die. So yeah, Foundry, Crucible. Yeah. If you're playing along at home just play Seven Days to Die. It'll be pretty much the same experience. So there it is, there's our crucible that we're gonna be using. So we're using to melt the bronze. Yeah, when we see it next time, it's just me glowing this insane orange yellow color. It's really awesome. I've been doing blacksmithing for about 20 years, so you actually did find a blacksmith tonight. Yes. We're just not doing blacksmithing tonight. That's fine. Um, so a bronze age sword maker would have been very unimpressed watching an, a uh, blacksmith make an iron sword. Why? Because this is so much faster. Oh, really? Yeah, if you think about like making a complex sword like this, the fact that we're going to make two of them in a night is kind of wild because a blacksmith sword, you're pounding every little bit of it, you know, and yeah. having to shape it from just a piece of rod stock or something and uh, really a much longer process. Okay, so now we're going to start packing it down and that's what I brought these for. These are big chunks of aluminum. Uh-huh. It's kind of like when you're working with concrete. So if you ever see somebody like putting in a sidewalk or something, they do this action, which is called screeding. All right, so we're ready for you to do yours okay. and catch up to that point. Premier sand. Oh, the mush. Mush. Yeah. Now wash it down. Yeah. Do the wash. Oh, it's fun. A little harder than that. Well, I'm scared. You worried at all? Am I worried? Yeah. Nah, I trust her. But I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. Now, how do you keep the sand from melting? God damn it. <laughs> that is a great question. Is it? Is it a great question? See? We do okay, not have to keep the sand from melting because bronze melts at 2,000 degrees what Fahrenheit. Sand, melt sand melts more like 2,500. What's the difference in degrees on that? 500. <laughs> All right. Give or that take. That was way too long of a pause take. between the five and the hundred. So Give or take. So set. All right, so if I did everything right, I'll be able to pull this apart now. 
this doesn't work every time. Oh gosh. But it worked that time. Great. Look at that. So, that actually looks really nice. Nice. Look at that. Well done. So now you can carpet. take the wood out and the two together will form the hollow. I don't know how you get that out though. Yeah, so we're making a sword-shaped hole in the sand. He's just gonna pull it out. That seems like the most, one of the most delicate parts of this whole thing. Look at that. Yeah. Like a pro. Spell. So now I'm Hold scooping it. a hole in the back here so that this is where we're gonna pour the bronze in. You need to keep like a Nathan Drake style scrapbook of all this information. Absolutely. Find it. <laughs> to commit it to memory. <laughs> there you go. Now it goes back in the alignment. Pins in the holes like that. And that one's good to go. Okay, so now I shake that out. I'm gonna shake yours out too. Let me take a look at it. it. Yeah. There's you know, a loose sand down in the uh, And you did a great job uh, with that. That's terrific. That's strong. It's pretty strong, right? We're about to melt metal in a bowl in a foundry and pour it into these little molds that we just made out of sand. There we go. That's our little bronze bar. Yeah. Ingot. An ingot. Glowing, and you will be able to feel this 10 feet away. Like you can be standing 10 feet away from here and when I lift it out, you can feel it radiating at you. Wow. Like it's, it, it's really amazing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Actually, it doesn't stay too hot. It's amazing how it really disperses. I want you to get a little shot, a little bubble. It's the eye of Sauron. Safety first, so, or in this case, what could happen. step eight. So start to finish, like in a pinch, you could use that. Right. Like that could be, that's, I mean, handles yeah. really just for your own luxury. Yeah. So start to finish, how long was that whole process? We started at about 7.30 yeah. probably. Yeah. So it would be two hours. Two hours and we got to a fully loaded. Yeah. All right, so we just finished day one of the sword casting and we start again tomorrow at 7 a.m. for polishing and finishing. Ooh. That's bright. All right, so it is now yawn o'clock in the morning. Ellie is now in the process of sanding her sword, giving a nice polish on the parts that are gonna show outside the handle. Greg said it's gonna take about probably two hours, so I'm gonna go rest in my So I've done most of the sanding of the actual sword side down here. You can see that it's all shiny now. Oh, shiny! And I have more of an edge to it. And now I'm just getting in all these little like 
detailed circular bits with this guy. Congrats, it's great. It looks great. Thank you. Congratulations. I feel good about it. We made, Look at that. made a whole yesterday sword. Yesterday you had nothing and now you have a sword. We melted metal into the shape that we built to create this sword. And now literally you could kill Andy Luddy within like a mile radius of here. Yeah. I don't know, it feels like I need a horse. So, so this is Greg. This is Greg. How can Hello. people find you, Greg? Um, so I teach a sword casting class, an all ages class. I do it uh, one or two uh, weekends a month. My uh, website is swordcastingguy.com. There you go. And I'm located here in Austin, though I've started traveling. If people want me to come, they just need to contact me through my website. And Texas. we create an event and people come. In my, my all ages class, we use aluminum. Um, the, it's a four hour class and it's $85. And uh, the price is per sword cast, not per participant. So sometimes I have two or three people from one family come and they all experience it and they, they just leave happy as anything. There you go. Awesome. Wait, how long were you doing it today? Uh, so we got here at seven. So probably at eight. Ellie just made a sword, so more and more people are becoming armed at the company. So. That's terrifying. <laughs> 